Hello. So that I can make things a bit quicker, I'm going to talk and tell you some fun facts for the soundtrack of Like a Dragon Gaiden. To start, Hidenori Shoji, a guy who is, for lack of a better term, the head honcho composer for this franchise. He's worked on basically every single game, however there has only ever been three games he hasn't composed music for, being Yakuza Dead Souls, Kuroyo 2, which was a Japan exclusive PSP spin-off game, and now this game. The reason he skipped this one, I would assume, is because he's either taking a well-deserved break, or because he was too busy making a billion songs for Infinite Wealth. Then another thing with this soundtrack was there were a lot of names I didn't recognize, and that's because they whipped out a bunch of new composers for this game. The ones you see on screen are new to the Yakuza or Like a Dragon games, but most of them are Sega composers who have worked on other Sega titles such as Sonic, Fantasy Star Online, or Virtual Fighter. Then there were two composers who took a long break from this series that returned in Lost Judgment who I'm glad to see have stuck around for this game. Then another interesting composer is Shinsuke Minami, who is apparently Next Design, a composer who did a few songs for Yakuza 5, Kiwami 1, and Yakuza 6, but it does honestly seem like it could make maybe perhaps be someone else with the same name, as his songs from previous games are very different to his songs in Gaiden, but maybe he's just an absolute beast. And finally, there's another returning composer who is a very talented one that sadly departed from the series in Yakuza 5, however this game marks his hopeful return to the franchise, although I'll discuss more about that further into the video. This video doesn't contain every song from the soundtrack, but it does contain spoilers, although I will be sure to let you know when the spoilers show up. But for now, please enjoy some early game and side content related songs from Like a Dragon Gaiden.